Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today we are kitting up Clematis Stained Glass. It is by Peggy Collins and it is from Diamond Art Club. And the final size will measure 30 inches by 20 inches or 76 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters. It has a whopping 67 colors. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six ABs. So this thing is going to be gorgeous when it's done. So let's get this started because 67 colors could take a while. So I cut off the numbers in front of the symbol because they just confuse me. So I get rid of them. Boom, you go over there. So I am using Elizabeth Ward storage. I have a bunch of them. I just grabbed as many free ones as I could find. So I should not run out of them. Famous last words. So there are those and there are no little extra <laughs> stickers because that took up all of the slots. Okay, let's get this started. Oof. So, I am going to put my empty plastic over there. All right. I'm so excited. I have been waiting to do this one forever. So, okay. So, I'm going to start with the smallest ones. So, then hopefully... Uh, I like to try to keep them as small as possible just because they, you know, they tend to take up a lot of room in the trays when they are not the small ones. And especially with 167 colors, I'm hoping they all fit. There are a lot with, that should fit in the small ones. So fingers crossed. Otherwise you're going to see me picking labels off and turning them sideways and all of that. So I'm gonna put the late stickers on the little ones for this, probably this train. I probably could do the whole thing. So let's see, 913. So, ooh, that one's so crooked. Oh, seriously. Nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's gonna stay crooked for now. Because <laughs> if I do it, then I don't think I have any tape with me. So I don't want to be picking, picking stuff off and all that. So I did at one point buy the tray of just the small containers. And I was really happy I did that because, especially with kits like this, where there's, there's a lot of colors, but not... Let's see, I'm going to stop that one so I don't completely confuse myself. Um, so yeah, I try to do it that way. I like small containers, but you know, you get to that point where it's like, okay, I cannot leave, I can't fit anymore in this container because you have to be able to open it to get the, the drills out. <laughs> Go figure, right? So I am just gonna put them in the tray for now and then I will organize them at the end. Oh, don't close it. And when I kit down my paintings, I try to leave the containers open a little bit just so I'm not, you know, trying to pry it open with my fingernails while I'm kitting it up, you know, but sometimes it happens. 718. See, I don't think I've ever seen this symbol before, the the box, this style of box, I should say. I mean, I've seen like a square, but I've never seen that particular one. Look at me, experiencing new things. So what is everyone doing while I do this? Are you diamond painting? Are you kidding something up? If you are kidding something up or down, what? I want to know. Okay, get that little green guy in there. 
do, do, do. Waiting to see how long it takes my cat to come jump on the table. Because he loves the sound of, oh, that was, look at that. Five in and I've already spilled. I don't know if that's my record though. I'm pretty sure I've spilt sooner than five. Oh my gosh, come on, there's that. Oh, there are the prettiest colors in this kit. kind of bad about accidentally leaving drills in the container from the previous one. So I see lots of ones that have little bits from other diamond paintings, so it's fine. Let's see, we got one for one, we got 400, okay. And nine, five, five. There we go. All right. Let's start with nine, one, five. And maybe let's try to cut it over the tray so I don't potentially spill all over. And I saw someone else cut the corner of the bag like I did. I saw them do that so they don't have a bunch of little tiny corner pieces of plastic. So just cut a little angle. And so like each one has a little leftover from the previous one, but that way you don't have, you know, 67 tiny little bits of plastic bouncing around because that just sounds awful to clean up. There's a little white stowaway in that one. Let's see. I'm tipping, oh, I'm tipping my tray. Pick, tipping my containers over. It's fine. It's fine. So, okay, let's these oh some of those will fit in little ones others I am not sure about I'm gonna stop right at this one and I'll put those on little trays because I'm fairly certain they will fit in little trays the rest of them I am not so confident to label the trays before I put the diamonds in them Sometimes these don't come off. Oh, there's a, see, there's a stowaway. I'll put you over there. Sometimes they don't come off very nicely once you put them on, and sometimes they do. Like I'm working on one kit right now, and literally the stickers are just flopping all over the place. So luckily it's like a small, it's a small Garfield kit, and there's only like seven colors, so it's not hard to figure out what color goes where. I mean, you have a, a brown color, you have a orange, you have a red, so it's pretty self-explanatory. But a kit like this, I don't know if I would want my stickers popping off all over the place, so. Try not to have to readjust the stickers after the fact, but sometimes you don't have a choice. When I was doing Gethsemane, I did Elizabeth Ward, and I don't, I had 60 something colors too, and I ended up having to turn some of the little trays, like the little ones like this, 
I ended up actually turning them like this because I did not have enough room in the tray system, but then I had to pry off the sticker from the front and stick it to the side and I had to kind of glue it, or not glue it, but you know, tape it down because they were not staying on nicely because I had already put them on the fronts before I realized, oh crap, that is not gonna work. But I didn't wanna have a second tray of diamonds for like four colors. That just seemed kind of stupid. So it is what it is. It's just, I made it work. And that's one thing with some of the, the bottle storage cases, you know, like the art dot ones are the better quality. And most of the, you know, the trays like to have the 60 and then the 120 and then like the 240. So it's like, but like with this kit, I would need, I couldn't use the 60 bottle because it would not fit all my diamonds. But the 120 is just like slightly too big because then you just have all these extra bottles. I mean, some of them, the colors, you might need one or two bottles extra for, but for the most part, you, you're not gonna use all 120 bottles. And so, I don't know. And again, I like everything being on one level. So having to like lift up my tray to get to the second level of diamonds, like that sounds so freaking lazy, but <laughs> you know, when you're in the zone, you don't want to be sitting there digging around and like, you know, lifting it up and putting it down on something that maybe isn't like the most stable. Because when I'm using bottle storage, I usually just take the bottles out of the case. I don't keep them in the case because, number one, if you put anything in the top of the case, it just falls out. It just flops out. At least all the ones I have do, they just go, and so then everything falls out anyway. So you're like, well, I'm not putting anything I value in there. Well, here's some more small ones. Yay! Let's do these small ones next. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to put anything that I don't want on, to end up on the floor in this case. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like they need like a, a 70 or an 80 bottle storage case because Diamond Art Club, man, they come out with some big kits and they have a lot of drills. And even though... I mean, a lot of, they have so many really, really, really big kits nowadays too, like big size, but even this, like this is, I mean, this isn't as big as some of their newer ones, but I mean, that's 67 colors. You gotta, you don't have stuff for all those individual colors. So yeah, that's just my thoughts, but you know, Nobody's asking me for my opinion, but if you're here, you know, you have to listen to me because it's my channel and I'll do what I want. 906. Let's see. Oh, I got a Jupiter symbol on this one. Nice. Or no, that's not Jupiter. That's probably Saturn. It's been a while since I've been in school. Don't come for me. Teachers don't come for me. Back when I was in school, Uranus was still a planet, so there's that. I'm gonna pull up some more little ones. And we have uh, stop at 819 right here, just so I aren't reaching all the way across the thing. Yes. Let's see. Three three two eight. I just almost, I cut myself, but I'm really hoping that doesn't start to bleed. If not, I got some washi. Can't stop now. Seriously. Well, at least if I got some on these drills, they're kind of red colored. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, 
don't follow me for tips and tricks about what to do. It's more like what not to do. So, let's cut away from the fingers, shall we? Oh my gosh. Oh. When I'm done with this, I gotta go pack because we're going to the ocean next weekend, which by the time this shows, I'll have already been back from the ocean, but still, it's always so much work to, like you're going for two nights, I mean, it's like you don't want to pack everything you own, but you also try to have to pack things that you're like, well, the hotel won't have X, Y, Z. So we might need this thing. And so we should bring it so we don't have to go buy it. Plus like the stores down there, whoa, don't really stay open super late. So like, let's say, you know, you need some Benadryl or something. Well, I think the, the local grocery store closes probably like at eight or nine. So that's not really, it's not really helpful if you need something in the middle of the night. And, you know, then if you're going to go buy sunscreen or something, well, it's a lot cheaper for me to just bring a thing of sunscreen that I purchased, you know, from Costco than to purchase it from, you know, the overpriced, you know, grocery store or one of the like little touristy stores. That's even worse. So, I mean, and I'm not going to go buy uh, like beach toys and shovels and buckets. We actually, my husband did the smart thing. And he got a bunch of, <clears throat> excuse me, um, what do you call it? Like kitchen utensils, like, um, like big metal like spoons and like a few like pots um, for helping like dig in the sand instead of like, you know, the cheap plastic pail and bucket kind of thing. And so that's been, that was like genius because now we have all that stuff and it's in a bag and ready to go. So you just have to remember to grab it before you leave. We just trying to remember all that stuff, but you know, you fill up the back of the car and you're just like, oh my God, I feel like you're moving out. But in reality, you're just, you're just going somewhere for like two days. Okay. These ones can still use the little guys so far. So good. Pull all those up so I don't have to reach for them. My daughter, she's so cute. Well, yeah, she knows she's cute, but last time we went to the ocean, she, I, all I asked was, I asked one thing of the, the children. I said, please don't wander so far away that if we need to call for you, that you can't hear us because it's loud and the, and it's Washington beach. So it's, it's loud and windy and the waves are really strong. So I said, that's, you know, and if we ask you to stop going into the water, you need to stop. Okay. It's because there's weird drop-offs and the water is not calm. It is very violent. <laughs> and so that was the only thing I was like, otherwise, I, you know, I want you guys to have fun. <sighs> we weren't even like 10 minutes into the damn trip. I sat down with all the, the belongings and you know, husband went with the kids to the waterfront because they wanted, or not the waterfront, to the water line, I guess you would say, you know, and because they wanted to get water, they wanted to go in the, the waves and, you know, they wanted to fill up their buckets so we could build a, you know, a giant hole and all this. And not even like 10 minutes in, I see her like stomping back and I'm like, oh God, now what? And she got you close to the water. And he kept asking. He said, no, you need to stop. You need to stop. Well, she didn't listen. And so he said she couldn't go in the water the rest of the time we were at the beach. And she was pissed. 
but you know, I'm like, you can't not listen. You know, we're not saying it to be mean. As much as you think we're trying to be mean and trying to make it so you don't have fun. That is not what we're doing. We're trying to keep you from getting swept into the ocean because if you got swept away, that water is so strong that we might not be able to get you back. But you know, they don't, kids know everything, right? So it's, oh, I would have been fine. I could have gotten, if, if the waves had knocked me down, I could have gotten back up. And it's like, yeah, you say that, but you haven't been knocked down by one of those waves. So we don't really want to experiment with, well, maybe you would, maybe you won't. Like, I'm not taking that risk. So her first thing was, am I going to get to go in the water? And I said, well, if you can listen, yes. If you decide you cannot listen to the basic instructions, then we'll be having a repeat of last time. So she said she's going to listen. So huh, we'll see about that. So, so I am, I am left-handed and it's funny because you don't really realize when you're right-handed, like how right-handed a lot of things are made <laughs> but even even like these elizabeth ward containers i've noticed they're they're kind of made right-handed like because you know like this way it just they open weird for me but that's just me So far, so good on the little container front. What I like to see. Come on, I should have opened that one just a little bit. But yeah, like this, I notice where the where the front and the, the lip is. It just it would make more sense for a right-handed person than a left-handed person. Same with coffee cups. You go places and. You know, they have like cute little coffee cups with cute little sayings on them. And it's always on the side where you would be holding the cup with your right hand. So like if you're holding your cup like this, you can read the thing. But if you hold it with your left hand, it's going to be on the back. when you're left-handed you get used to doing everything your way and you get used to everything being made for right-handed people my husband and I are both left-handed and people come into our house and you know things are kind of not in the spot that I guess a right-handed would put it sometimes so people are like what the hell is this and we're like oh well it's over here well that's because we're left-handed so it's just that's the side that we would put it on. My grandpa was left-handed and he was of the age where being left-handed was wrong. <laughs> so they tried to fix him by not allowing him to use his left hand to write and to do the things that you would do with your dominant hand. And so he, they tried to teach him to write right-handed. Well, I don't know if you've ever tried to, to write with your non-dominant hand, but it doesn't really work. And so I don't know how long they tried with him, but then they eventually gave up because it, it was illegible. But because they had done that, it actually made him really hard to write with his left hand. So his handwriting, even until like from when he was a kid on through an adult, like until, you know, he passed away, his handwriting was always really shaky and wobbly. And it just, it was, you could read it, but it was, he had to write in all capitals. Um, and it was just, yeah, it looked, I mean, it looked like somebody who had like, you know, Parkinson's or something that would, where your hands don't stop shaking. It looked like that. And so 
I remember he would never, he would never write anything. My grandma would always be the one to sign the birthday cards and stuff. And I remember asking once, I'm like, why, why is it always grandma? And that's when they, you know, told me about the fact that he was left-handed and they tried to make him switch. And I'm like, why would they make him switch? But you know, that's what they did. All right. So I'm at the point now where I'm not entirely sure what size things will fit in. So I'm going to try to start with a little Whoa. tumbling. Oh my God. No, no, no. I just put that over there. What was that number? Please tell me it's something on the top. Mother truckers. This is why. Okay, well, he's gonna go right there. That's why you don't put the bag over there, dummy. <sighs> okay, 815. It's over there somewhere. Okay, 815. Don't put it in there. Don't put it in there. Oop, see, now I'm trying to pour my diamonds with my right hand. There's no way that's gonna go well. No. Okay. That one is definitely full. Okay. 815. Let's. Yeah, that's the one bad thing about the Elizabeth Wards. When they get to be full, they get in that little lip. But they're so pretty when they're all lined up and in order, though. I can't help it. Okay, nine, nine, five. Nine, nine, five. Oops, oh, that one's closed. Come on. So I am not sure when this kidding up will go out. Um, so the video that I'm going to talk about, I tried filming, may or may not be out by then, but I was trying to kid up a company. No! 995. God, again! I was trying to kid up a diamond painting from a company that I ordered from, but I haven't actually like done anything from yet. And... I unboxed it on a video and then I instantly was just going to kit it up, but I was going to film a second video. And so I did the unboxing and I was talking about the diamonds and it's like, yeah, they look pretty good. You know, they're not the sparklies, you know, diamond art club, but you know, I think these are going to be okay. And oops, save the number. And then I went to start kitting it up and I was like, oh man, that's a bummer. It doesn't have symbols, you know, because they, they had a, like a paper sheet, but it didn't have an actual sticker sheet. And I'm like, well, you know, that's okay. And then I realized that the symbols and the DMCs on the bags of the diamonds didn't match up. And I'm like, well, that's, that's weird. And then I was looking at the colors that I had versus the colors on the kit. And I was like, um, that doesn't match at all. And that's when I realized that they had sent me the wrong diamonds. Nope. Almost just did it again. Three, two, one. <laughs> so that was annoying. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is, they made the red heart. Thank you that's just so annoying when they don't do that. I don't, I don't, it shouldn't annoy me, but it does. Okay. Is that all my little containers? That is all my little containers. Okay. Now we have graduated into the next size up. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't take up the whole dang thing. So seven, eight, two. So yeah, that was really frustrating because I was like, oh my gosh, that's not good. So I emailed the company and they did actually get back to me within the day and they are going to send new diamonds, you know, the ones for the kit that I got. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Like, and the worst part is I didn't even realize it while I was doing the video. 
I'm just like, yeah, these diamonds look good, blah, blah, blah. Not even realizing the fact that like the main colors in the kit are like pinks and blues, like bright pinks and blues, large amounts of pinks and blues. And I'm opening diamonds in a kit that like are greens and browns and like my brain did not even comprehend. I was like, oh my gosh, that's just, <sighs> the stupid was a little thick that day, I gotta say. So these ones, huh, I feel like these ones would have fit in little containers. What I may do, um, I have not kitted down um, my Jasper C painting yet because I do not have my round storage bins fully set up. When I do that, I may decide to transport these into smaller bins if they fit. We will see. Oops. It's so hard to tell sometimes though with some of these, so I don't know. Okay, so we have nine, well, it's either 996 or 966. I am so excited that Diamond Art Club has finally decided to like make their bags in an obvious way that like this is up, this is down because well, obviously, like this is 996 because it's next to 154. But if this one is separate, I can see how you could get confused as to what the number is. If it was just like an individual bag floating around. I mean, most ones, yeah, most numbers you're not going to question. But, you know, the nines, the sixes, and then you throw in any like zeros and stuff like that. Oh, these are so small. Uh these ones, uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put those there because I may go try to scavenge trays from somewhere else because that's just annoying. Wonder if two of these would fit in one of those. We're gonna find out. Let's see. So this is one. So oh, oh. And I'm going to say potentially no, potentially yes. There's a 50% chance it'll fit, uh, kind of. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be, huh? I might spill it a few times when I first get started, but once you use some, it will go down. Okay, get away from the opening. Okay, that was, what number? One, six, two. One, six, two. We got the old percentage sign. Okay, so any that I might try to switch, I'm gonna put over there. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to the chubby bags. Okay, you will fit 155. Let's put your sticker on. Fifty five. Ooh, that is maybe a no. Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Just barely. Oh my gosh, it closed. Okay. I'm going with it. Let's see, we got one thirty. That one's chubby too. I I want to, yeah, I better go with that one because ABs just, they feel like they take up more space. I can't prove that, but I feel like they kind of do, so. Okay. Let's see if 820 fits in this one. I know. Seriously, I keep cutting it over 
the table when I have a tray. <sighs> okay. Oh, that one's full too, but I think it will work. Okay. Come on. Go in there, little friend. 820. Nope. Get in there. 820. 820. 820. 820. 820. Okay. There's that. You go in the bag of bags. 939. That one might fit in that one. Hold on. I'm gonna find out. Okay, let's cut your finger. And I didn't look, no blood. Yay! Of course, I haven't had a lot to drink today, so maybe I'm just a little dehydrated, but hey, dehydration for the win. What'd I say? 939. Oh, that's number C. Number C. Psh. Number C, kids. 814. Oh, let's try the. This size has seemingly been. Pretty decent. So, and let's see. There's that. And 814. Put that there. Where's my numbers? 814. Three dots. Did I miss the double dot one? I like double dot. I like to call double dot nipple. Because, you know. I got the sense of humor of a teenage boy. Okay, so these two probably, let's try to go in number three size. This is also what I like to call it. Number three. Okay. Piece of random hair. All right, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Yes. I try not to use the super large container, like, unless absolute necessary. Because <laughs> it takes up so much dang room. Oh my gosh, which one was that? Three, seven, four, three, seven, four, six. Three, seven, ah, chubby rice. That's chubby rice to me. Okay, oh, this is a single bag. You can go in a smaller one. Seven, four, seven. Oops. Seven four seven. Oh, here's a lone seven four seven. Let's see. Seven four seven. This is what I like to call magic lollipop. I first I thought it looked like a lollipop, then I thought it looked like a magic wand, and then somehow the the two names just merge together. Okay. So we have 3837. So I am going to say that we probably fit into that size as well. But we'll make sure. Don't think it would fit into a small one. And I still have to hunt down the small ones because I have I think five that I think will fit in small ones. That one potentially could fit in a small one, but I don't know if I have any. So that one is a maybe fit into a, oopsie, let's move that so that doesn't fall off the table. That would literally make me cry if I tip that over and it's built, so. Let's see, seven, oh wait, oh, there's two bags in this, okay. That means, oh my gosh, I almost just stabbed myself again. Seven, nine, seven, let's put you in that size. Seven, nine, seven, there is definitely some leftover dust from some trashy drills in this one. Ooh, come on. There's that. Seven nine seven? Yes, that was seven nine seven. Watch, that's gonna be wrong. Just put you here just in case I did screw you up. And then, oh, this one. That one will fit in that little one for sure. Okay. 
That is three eight four zero. Oh, wavy bacon. Wavy bacon. Okay. Okay, we have these three, which could also go in smaller ones, but I don't think I have. Uh, you always think you have enough, <laughs> but you don't. Okay, 310. I don't, I don't want to put the 310 in. Now there's three of them, but I am just gonna do that size and see if I can fit. Can I fit that many in there? Maybe we're gonna find out. And then I will just put the extra bag in my, in my desk. <laughs> because if I was doing bottle storage and I had a bunch of leftover bottles, I would definitely put that in. But with the Elizabeth Wards, I'm a little pickier about it. Okay. had more room in my tray I would put it in a bigger one but <gasps> that wasn't three oh my god that was 310 wait okay whoa what did I just do oh my gosh okay was that oh my gosh what did I just do okay I had that's got to be three. Yeah, that's three ten. Oh, hey, I didn't actually screw it up because this is three three seven one. <gasps> that would have been so bad. Oh, that would have been a nightmare to try to clean and separate. Oh, my gosh. See, this is a happy accident right there. Wow. Okay. Three, three, seven, one. And these would be good in smaller containers as well sugar biscuits hmm I have one two three four six seven eight nine hmm I really thought I had enough nine these Probably being small, these could be in the next size up. All right, I gotta go forage. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I found some extras. <laughs> they were in a tray that I was just trying to fill the space with, so that works. I do have some slightly bigger ones that might be able to steal. Uh, yeah, let's get these ones done first because I know these ones will fit in the little ones. If I have to try to steal containers from my current whip, then I'm going to have to peel the sticker off and then tape and do all that. So we will, we will get these ones done and out of the way. And then I will figure out if these other ones will fit in a little container or if I do need to steal a bigger one. So. <sighs> Seven, four, two. Does anyone like kit up like perfectly without having to go hunt down kind containers or realize they didn't put the right sticker on or spill? I mean, really, because I don't think I've ever done that. This one is, that one's tight, but it fits. So we are just gonna go with it. Okay, 119, that's the purple AB. I've never had that purple AB before, so that is a really pretty one. 
guess it's a good thing they're so pretty because they're such a pain in the butt to put down. Otherwise, I'd be like, nope, I'm just going to find regular drills. But they're so sparkly. Come on. Okay. I really need you to fit in this one, okay? Okay. Come on. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Seven, nine, four. Let's put it in before we put the sticker in, just in case. That is not big enough of an opening. Come on. Now I have no idea how long this video's been because I had to stop. So hopefully it stays under an hour. So hopefully. Oh my goodness. Okay, that is really full. Really full. And there's some dark colored drills in there and I don't know what they belong to. So we're just going to ignore them. Come on. Okay. What? 794. What number? I don't know. Let me throw in the bin full of all the other plastic bags so it makes it difficult. Okay, 3371. I This one may might fit. I don't know. I can't believe I almost added that to the 310. Ugh. That was just figured. Mm, that one. is not going to fit. Okay. We need to steal from somebody else. So we are going to steal this container from my current whip. We're going to put that over there and hopefully huh, this will Hopefully this will go as I'm hoping it will. So come on. <gasps> nope. That was not what I was. <laughs> that is not how I was hoping it would go. That's for sure. Okay. Okay. Well, I just. I mean, they all landed on the table, so that's a plus. Okay. Do do do. Let's see. We got. Oh, Mr. Yellow. This is for, uh, it's electric. So this is, tw oh, Tweety's, one of Tweety's main face and body colors. So there is that. Okay, now we can put this one in here. Wow, that was a mess. I'm just going to dump all you. Oh, and whatever those other ones were went down in there too. And I don't even care. 3371. Okay, we're getting low on stickers. It's always a good sign. So we know that one can't be put into a small container. Okay, what about this one? 796. This is a maybe. It kind of looks like it might fit in a container. I think it will. I think it will. It's just going to be dangerous to open, but 796. Yes. Oop, I got yellow all over me. I don't know. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. These ones. 333. Three, three. I think, again, I, 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 I write all of these. I keep saying, I think it'll fit or it might not fit. Real hard hitting hard, hard hitting evidence okay come on yep yep 
Yep, yep, yep. Oh my gosh. Close it. Oh, there's one. Do I dare? Yes. Oh, there's two more. Oh my gosh. Do I? Am I going to be that person? Yes. Yes, I am going to be that person. Okay, go in there. Three, three, three. Okay. Three, three, three. Okay. These. Are these the last two? Yes. Okay, so I have that one. Mystery, mystery purple. And then I have these two purples. Well, let's cut that off. And we'll try. I have a feeling this one is not going to fit. I could be wrong. It just happened. Occasionally. Oh, um, yeah, no. Okay, okay, you made a mess. You're good. Okay, put that one put those over there so I don't get confused. Okay, that one needs to go. Oh, look, here's one bigger one right here. Okay, all right, that works. Okay, go in there. That one's, I feel one on my finger. There it is. And this was 340. 340. Doot. Okay. And then 208. 208. That one it does not look as full as the other one did. We'll try. Mm. Or it does. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just. Okay, come on. Come on. Just. I. That's so ridiculous, like, that I'm going to have to put that in a bigger container just for. <laughs> But I'm going to have to. <sighs> okay. I had these ones. I wonder. Okay. This was one that I thought could fit in a smaller container. So let's try this out. Then I won't have to empty one of those. <sighs> okay. Let's watch. Let's watch me make a mess again. I probably should just take the lids off. That might actually make it better. Oh yeah, this one's gonna work. Okay. Oh yes, thank you. Thank you, Brown. Thank you, Brown. Okay, fantastic. Okay, that one is good. Now this one can go in that one as I spill it all over. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Okay. And that was 208. That was 210. Okay. There was this one I thought could potentially fit in a smaller one as well. So since we have a bunch of, oh my gosh, Ugh. low battery power, how rude. Cell phone, how dare you talk back to me. So inconsiderate of others. Okay. Come on. Here we go, eight, two, six. I have a feeling I'll need to put tape on these, but for right now, it's fine. Okay, then, was that one I thought that could go in that one? I don't know. That looks questionable, honestly. And this one might be able to fit in a small one. Let's try it. Cause my tray is not looking like it's gonna fit everything nicely. 
you. Come on. Come on. Get in. Oh, you bastard. Come on. There you go. Nope. You just had to do it, didn't you? Yep. Okay. This is TB996. Okay. Come on. Okay. So, yeah, this is not all going to fit. Mm, it's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Okay. Push everything away. Okay. okay. Let's do this. All right. We need to organize this and then I can potentially turn some on their sides. But in order to do that, I need to separate them. So we have numbers. Oh, let's go this way. So we have letters, numbers first. Letter, 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 letter. Letter, letter, letter. Letter, letter. Those. That's number, number. Oh, that's Tetris upside down T. I consider that a letter. That's wonky X. I consider that a letter. Those. Number, letter, letter, number, letter, letter, number, number, letter. Okay, then we go to dots. Dot, dot. Mm, maybe. That's a maybe dot. It depends on how much space there is. Then it might not be a dot. That's also a dot. Okay, and then we have lines. Line, 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 curvy line. Dots. That's a circle. It goes with dots. Okay. Okay. Put all you right there and then we'll do you next. Okay. So I start with A. Mind blowing. Is there not another A? Really? That's hard to believe there's no capital A. Okay. Now I gotta double check just to make sure that I didn't screw up. I do not see a capital A unless it's right in front of me, which it very well could be. So, okay, little a, C. Come on. There's a G. H, here's E. Okay, C, E. There's G, H. J, whoa. J. Okay. Uh, L. Oh, here's another E. Little E. I knew I saw that. L. Okay. L. Here's a little N. Here's big N. No M. No O. L. N. N. Oh, here's F. I knew I saw F. E. Okay. P and P. Is there a Q? No Q this time. We have R, S, regular T, upside down Tetris T, U, V, W, X, wonky x y okay now we have one two three four whoa 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 five seven eight okay now we go to should we do dots or lines dots or lines Let's do lines first. 
because the dot can go down here because that will be used more probably. So we have chubby rice line, then we have skinny line, double line, we have diagonal line, wavy bacon line. Okay, now we're going to pull these all out over here. Get them out of the way. I'm totally going to have to turn some on their sides. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. If I'm going to do that, I should probably do it sooner rather than later. Okay, so I'm going to turn. I'm going to take these three because they're all small amounts. So what I will do is I will push the sticker on the side like that because you can't put it on the other end because that's where the, the, what do you call it? Crappy open thingy is. So let's see, they're seemingly sticking okay. So I'm not gonna put tape on them right this second, but I may have to. Okay, so that, I don't like leaving space for one. That's not really that helpful, but okay. I could do, well, we'll see. Let's focus, focus. Okay, so we have big circle, little dot, Nipple dot, triple dot, uh, sideways, pong dot, percentage dot. Then we have a bubble butt dot. Uh, no trespassing dot. Any other dots? Any other circles we want to include in this menagerie? Um, here is toilet setting dot. Let's do magic lollipop dot and Saturn dot. Okay, now we do arrows and triangles. So there's, okay, so that's an arrow, 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 arrow. There's a triangle kind of dealio. Okay, that's a, that's a triangle, triangle. That's a triangle, triangle. That's a triangle, triangle. That's, uh, I don't count that as a triangle. Um, okay. Let's do, let's do this. Because if I decide to turn them on their side. Hmm, okay. Let's take these. Oh, geez. Let's take two, three, and four and put them on their side because then they're just kind of lined up with those ones. And they're already in a row. So let's, whoa, number four. Okay, so then we have that. Oops. Then we have, ow, kind of miscellaneous, which goes, I try to put them in color order to start, and then they get mixed up and I just put them wherever. So, teal, blue, purple, purple, I don't need to turn anymore, yay, fantastic, okay. Again, this is what my picture's gonna look like if you can't remember because it's been like five hours. Uh, that is my tray. So I have it started in alphabetical order. These I turned on the side, so, but I know they're alphabet because they're in the alphabet section. Then that's gonna bug me that that one is right there, but I, I, can't, I can't move it realistically. So, you know, just ignore it number, and then these ones are on their side, up, and then I have 
let's see, we have lines, then we go to dots, and then we go to arrows, triangles, and then it's just whatever. So, yeah. All right, and because this canvas, I believe it goes like this, I think this is the bottom corner, I will have to work on it sideways, so I will need to figure out if I want to work on it this way and go up or this way and go up. Thinking I should start with the more confetti areas and go up because then this will be faster to finish because I made that mistake with my one I'm working on now where there's like a huge color blocky section like right in the bottom corner and then it's like super confetti at the end where I will end up. So probably won't make that mistake again. So then if I do it that way, then I will just turn my little rolly cart, whichever way the canvas is pointed. So I'm not trying to sit there and take the thing out and compare it and all that. So yeah, there we go. Well, thank you so much for watching and helping as I kit up my Clematis stained glass. If you've enjoyed this, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, hearting, farting, all the things. I so much appreciate it. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Big awkward hugs. Bye.